Dear brothers and sisters, I wanted to approach in today's khutbah briefly the topic of ihsan, the topic of doing good when you don't feel good as you do good. And what I mean by that is that there's always this sentiment that the more corrupt the world becomes, the more our interpersonal relationships decay, the more our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala collectively as mankind starts to decrease, the more those who seek to insist upon a higher way are going to be taken advantage of and are going to get what they call the short end of the stick. They're not going to get the benefits that most people get in this life by cheating, by being petty, by uh, insisting upon matters of this world, by seeking to consume as much as they can of this world without any sense of conscience, not of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor of anything else. And subhanAllah, when you look at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I want to start off with what this khutbah is not about. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, despite being a person who we can all agree was taken advantage of in, on multiple occasions, despite being the person who would be mobbed for sadaqah, mobbed for charity, asked questions in a harsh manner. The Prophet ﷺ, despite giving in every relationship of his more than what he received, both to those that rejected him and to those that accepted him. No one can say that they were a better sahib, that they were a better companion to the Prophet ﷺ than he was a sahib to them. None of the family members of the Prophet ﷺ could say they were a better family member to him than he was to them alayhi salatu wasalam. And of course, his enemies who never even acknowledged his goodness towards him. Despite all of that, Rasulullah was a man who knew how to set boundaries for himself despite his boundless compassion. He knew how to say no, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when it was necessary to not enable a greater harm. That's why Surah Al Hujurat was revealed because the Prophet, when he went home, Rasulullah was giving the haqq of his family upon him. And so no matter how loud you screamed at him or how much you banged on his door, Rasulullah at that time was engaged in the haqq of those people inside his household upon him. The Prophet despite being the most merciful person and a person who was a mercy to mankind, he did not allow the harm that was shown to him to shut him down Despite la'allaka bakhi'un nafsaka ala atharihim it is as if you would harm yourself. Not that the Prophet ﷺ would actually self-harm, but that you're hurting yourself. Over your love for them, the Prophet ﷺ did not have any lack of zeal towards the message that he was actually spreading. He didn't cry all day and night ﷺ to where he could not work the way that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala taught him to work. Despite the Prophet ﷺ himself having endured so much hardship from the people. No one fits the description of someone who mixed with the people and tolerated their hardship more than Rasulullah Despite that, the Prophet did not tolerate a climate of abuse. And he didn't tolerate a climate of wrongdoing. And did not allow for that to happen to people that were around him. You can't force Ihsan on somebody else. You should force Ihsan on the one who is dealing with someone else with cruelty. Not on the one who's on the receiving end. You can encourage Ihsan to that person, but you cannot tolerate the opposite of excellence and cruelty and put all of the burden on the other person. But when the Prophet ﷺ himself was on the receiving end, he always ﷺ, opted for a higher ideal, for a higher level. Now the question becomes, why is it that we often feel like maybe we're not getting anything in return for the goodness that we are doing towards others. First and foremost, you first start with those who have done goodness to you and perhaps you did not repay them. And the perpetual prototype of that is the parent, right? There is no person in, at, at the default who's taken advantage of more than a parent by their child, right? There is no person who fits the prototype more than that person, than the parent, because the child cannot repay the parent. It's impossible. 